everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to continue with the script we made yesterday, and we're just going to make the open function better. But we're going to do it really, really, really cool. We're not just going to do what we did Friday or Thursday or anything. We're going to make it a more complicated animation to open up the menu. So let's go to our script real quick. Actually, no, let's go back here. And let's just make the frame visible for a second. Just just for a second, guys. Now let's resize it to be point or well, okay, we can keep it at point five of that for now. For now. Uh but let's change this to be point oh five and move it down to be the same position as our uh op our text button. Bow. Alrighty, so now let's just make the frame have zero for the size. Boom. Alright, good. And we can change the frame's visibility again. Now go back into our text button and let's just make a new for loop real quick. For i equals 1, 50 do and and you know what? No, let's go to 25 because we want this to be a little faster. And you guys are going to see what I'm doing in a second. We're making an animation. So for i equals 1, 25 do. And uh, we're just going to go script.parent.parent.frame.size equals. And let's just copy this because who wants to type out script.parent.parent.frame.size 100 times, right? Uh, plus udim2.new. And uh, 0 0.2, uh, I believe, no, 0 0.02, sorry, 0, 0, 0. Remember, we're going to be moving the x size, the width, and we're going to make it cover the entire 0 0.5 that it's used to doing, starting from here. And then we're going to move it up, and then we're going to slide it down, okay? So, we can... We've got this for loop. We got to add a weight so people can actually see it moving across, moving down, and all of that. Or yeah, it is just moving across right now. And then we'll add another weight. And then we'll add another for loop for i equals one. Now it's at point five right now. We're going to want to move it up, okay? So let's just uh, twelve do because we want this movement part to be quick. Script dot parent dot parent that frame that position equals oops script that parent that parent that frame that position minus you dim to that new 0 0.04 because we're actually making it slightly better 0 0 0 and you know what? let's make it 10 and that way we can move this up to 5 and then end and add our weights and now we just got to make it go all the way down. Um, okay. And it will, hold on a second. Why do we have two? No, 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 no. Ten. And it's up there at five. Let's just look here. If it's up all the way here and it's point five, it's only going to reach down there. So we actually want it to be at point one. Uh, which means instead of ten, uh, we can move this to eight. Um, and then let's make another for loop. For i equals 1, this time we'll do, uh, this time we'll do 10, do, and we'll actually just copy this and we'll move things around real quick. Uh, let's change it from doing the x to doing the um, y. So here's what it's doing. It's first, <coughs> wow, first it's moving it from it being completely no thickness and then it's going all the way out uh, and actually that remind, I'll talk about that in a second guys uh, well, first off we gotta change it to 25 uh, actually change it to 20 and I'll explain why it's 20 in a second alright so first it's going and 25 times through that it will be 0.5 wide 50% of your screen wide and then it's going to move itself up to where it's at position point 0.1 for the Y. And then our last loop is going to move it and scale it, make it longer all the way down to point 0.5 for height as well. 
Now, the, the reason we're doing 20 instead of 25, which would be logical if we were going from 0 to 50 uh, percent, that is, uh, but we're doing this because it's already at 0, I, I believe it's at 0 0.05 right now. Uh, let's check that. And actually, if it is, we have to change something real quick. Okay, the size is at 0 0.05 right now. So let's just change it then to be, um, let's see, uh, 20 would be, if to get to 5, uh, 0 0.025, let's do the math here real quick, guys. All right, so let's just say we're trying to get to 0.45. That's what we got to get done in this loop, all right? So 0.45. We could do that in 10 uh, loops, or we could do it in 20 loops at 0 0.0225. So let's do that, 0 0.0225, uh, and that should get the job done for us. We'll, we'll, of course, check. I mean, what's the harm there? Uh, this loop will only work once because we have not made the closed script, and we probably won't today because we're already over six minutes in this tutorial. And that's longer than I like my tutorials to be. So let's click uh, let's click menu. Big problem, but easy to fix. Uh, I believe. Yeah, here's the problem. We were moving the x scale. Some of you hopefully noticed that. Uh, in this loop, we have to change it to be moving the y scale. And now we can press F6. Again, congratulations, Meta Knight 1896. Uh, that was actually my favorite of all of the ones that were winners and we could vote on. Uh, that was my favorite. I guess the voting never really counted, though. But oh well. I, I liked it a lot. Let's click menu. Boom. All right. It's working great, except one little problem but let's just go into the player's player GUI real quick and uh, see what the stats are on its size and position so right now it's at point zero nine well, okay we can fix that easily it's close enough to point one right now uh, the size is fine uh, yeah it's fine right there uh, I, I think I figured it out though yeah I did all right so we actually need to move it up a little, little, little bit more uh, than what we currently have it at. Or we can make it a little, little, little bit smaller. Which do you guys want? I'm voting, voting, not voting, voting, uh, we can make it smaller. Because what I want to do is have the bottom of the menu equal to the bottom of this GUI. And that's not necessarily going to be super easy, um, but we can easily, well, I can't say easily after that, but we can do it. Uh, so let's just think, let's make, let's make our frame visible real quick, and let's just see what would happen if we change the size to be 0 0.5 by 0 0.5, uh, not point there, okay, and move it up to 0.1. It's not exactly right uh, there, so maybe we do need to go up to zero. No, 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 no. Uh, how about 0 0.05? That seems to work pretty well. Okay, so now we can undo everything, put it back in its place. Uh, and let's just make this different, the uh, positioning one. So right now it's moving up. It looks like 0.4. Okay, that's good, that's good, but we're actually going to change this to be 9. Let's change it to 9, so it moves up an extra 0.5. Uh, and then, let's just test it. And wow, we're coming close on 10 minutes, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to end this tutorial ASAP. I'm sorry for taking so much of your time, guys. But sometimes these animations do take some math and some figuring out. Um, and I am not feeling well enough to do math in my head like I usually do. So let's press menu. Boom! It looks great. It's doing exactly what it, we want it to do. So just a recap again. Uh, I'm just going to add comments. You guys don't have to, but I'm going to add a comment. Si or, um, 
resize width. This will be move up. And this will be uh, resize height. Okay, so this is resizing the width from 0 to 0 0.5. This is moving up to 0 0.05. And this is resizing it back down to, point, uh, to half of the screen's height. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.